Hi, welcome to Learning to Lingo. I'm Charlie, and today I'm going to show you how to add your logo to your lingo. So if you haven't already, head over to lingo.com so you can log into your account. Just click on the login button here, 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 wherever it's at. Click on that. So to start with, if I'm on my dashboard, I'm going to click my app card right here to be taken into the content designer. So now at the top of my mobile preview here you see in the, in the middle is the logo. Right now, this is just the generic lingo logo. So you, if you wanna make this your own, great. If you wanna leave it how it is, that's fine too. Um, but to do that, you can click on the logo you see here and it'll open up this panel on the right hand side um, with the logo. Now, one of the ways to upload your logo would be to click over here on the preview panel and then navigate to where you have the logo saved. So here I already have some made. Um, as a heads up, I love to use Canva to design my logos. Let me show you what I do here. So with Canva, I use a one-to-one -one ratio for the logos, so it's an even square. You can make a square logo, a round logo. If I do round, I download it as a transparent background. It makes it look just a little bit cleaner. So you can see the different options I've made with Canva there. Um, so I'm gonna go back here, click on my logo, and then I'm gonna upload the round transparent one. So I'm gonna double click there and you can see it's uploaded there. As an alternative, if you want, if you already have the file open with your logos, I'm gonna drag this off to the side here. You can just click and drag and hold it over the logo as well. It's really drag and drop friendly, so super easy to do. As you can see, I've got my logo added and I'm ready for the next steps. Don't forget to check out the rest of our tutorials to help you learn to lingo. Can we help these people learn to lingo? What do you think? I think yes.